Uh, I just remember Bunga kicking in and um, as Razzle and Big Easy like to do, they uh, they got on their high horse and started running down to the forward line, never expecting to kick goals, but they just do it to annoy their opponent. And then to everyone's surprise, I think, everyone saw Easy running into a, on a, an open goal inside 50 and, and dropped a couple of blokes on the way. So, um, yeah, that was, that was an awesome moment and uh, a great win to be a part of. This is crazy good! He wasn't shy of his celebration at all. He was jumping around, fist pumping everyone. And, uh, it was very unlike yeah, he's, but he, uh, he definitely let everyone know he's he kicked the match winning goals that, that day. What a big goal! All through my junior career, never kicked um, any really important goals. So it was pretty unbelievable, really. Uh, I was one end standing to mark, my man kicked a point. So I thought I had to make up for that. Drifting a little. Boy Meister, one of my good mates from the club, and so I thought I'd just take him on a run down the other end. Got down the other end, he did his hammy, which is a bit of a shame. Here he is here, he's come from half forward and then all of a sudden Meister clicks heels and falls over. I think he might have pulled the hammy off the bone or easy was a bit too quick for him, so to see him kick that goal was, a, was an awesome experience and something he won't forget or, or any of the teammates. The worst bit was having to try and run back, I was stuffed. A big easy to take off like he did and back his endurance and leg speed. Uh, it's unfortunate for uh, Bobby Meister, who's the next ex uh, West Coast player that's him, but um, oh, what a special moment for Easy and something he's cherished for a long time because that was an inspirational goal, for, a team lifting goal, which uh, great reward for the effort he puts on, on and off the track. Wilson runs for McKenzie. I had my debut against St Kilda last year. Um, just a run out in the ground, um, Eddie had stadium. Um, yeah, it was just an awesome feeling. Had a look around at the crowd and um, got those goosebumps at the back of my neck. And then Easy was lucky enough to kick the winning goal pretty much. So it was an awesome feeling, one by goal in the end. And um, yeah, it was one, probably one of the best days of my life. Massive goal to put the Eagles back in front by four oh. points. Oh, he's kicked a ripper to win the game for us, but no one remembers his first goal. He'd only kicked one goal coming into the game, and he's kicked two for the two for the whole game. Some you know, young-looking, skinny half-back ended up hitting him up with a nice short pass where he's had a set shot from 50, and then he's gone and taken all the glory a bit later on by kicking the winning goal. So uh, good on you, Ace. He should move forward more often. <laughs> that was poetry. As a midfielder, I wasn't too happy to come off and see our full-back and kick two, and I had to kick Denny. But, uh, team game, we got the win. Yeah, I don't think anyone would have picked Easy kicking two goals in a game, but he does things that surprise you constantly. Big Easy was out in front, and yeah, obviously walked his way through, and, and the celebration was, was bloody amazing as well. He'd run the full length of the field to get onto it, so uh, yeah, it was great. Like I said before, I've travelled to America with Easy two years in a row, so it was great to see my travel buddy be the hero. He's done a little shimmy, done a little S-bend, slammed it home. And didn't he give it to the crowd, Eric McKenzie? This is crazy good!